Welcome to day two of our 2948 anniversary special. I'm Sandy Gardner. And I'm Chris Robbins. Today, we continue our biggest free fly event to date. Through next week, we'll be featuring a different star citizenship manufacturer each day and making all their flyable ships available to test fly for free. Yeah, so during the event, anyone with an RSI account can get into the game and try out all the flyable ships. There are 80 of them in total, but today we're going to be focusing on the manufacturer that started them all, Robert Space Industries and their ubiquitous models. Yes, we are. And to discuss the ships of RSI, here are John Crew, Chris Smith, Josh Coons, and Jared Huckabee. Okay, so the RSI ship that's on the Andromeda is an RSI ship, but no, the no, one that's Kruger. on... It's Kruger. The, the Merlin is made by Kruger. And the one on the Phoenix is it's made, made by, by Kruger. You know, it's made by Kruger as well. They're both the same? Yeah. yeah no, they're different, but they're two different ships yeah, made by Kruger. Yeah, they're not It's a good segue All to day. RSI. So, RSI, Robert Space Industries. Robert, that, that's Space. Robert Space Industries is our manu manufacturer for today. It's not just a manufacturer in the game. It, the name is on our letterhead. What do you think of when you think of RSI? Struts. <laughs> <laughs> Just obstructed yeah. view. My word is strut pit. I got that strut off. I got pit. yeah. I got that off the forum. Somebody on the forum coined that term. Strut pit. The view is a strut pit. All right. This is what I think. I think of civilian armament. Okay. Thank you for coming to play, Chris. Thank you. Well, now, 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 expand on that. What is, what is, civi what is civilian? Well, you know, it's use? basically, you know, they okay. focus mainly on, on civilian and uh, general consumer products. Right. U you utilitarian uh, ship production. All right. But every every man's ship. But, uh, ships for every man. Yeah, focus every on Every person's civilian. ship. Yeah. So talking about RSI ships, we've got the Aurora and we've got the Constellation. Two ends of, 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 of the spectrum here. Let's talk about the Aurora first. What's the Aurora? Aurora is the bread and butter, the ship everyone should know. It's, it's too big a ship. Everyone, ship. everyone yeah. flies yes. and it is the most gets familiar ship with. Universe. It's a good starting point um, if you're new to the game. It's, it's where you're meant to start. Yeah, it's, it's probably most people have one if they've backed the game in any way. Uh, there are, uh, there almost, are other options. There, but... there are almost 400,000 Auroras in the verse right now. Yeah. That's the number one ship. Oh, oh, ship right? oh, by far, by yeah. far. They give you that introductory experience. They give you the taste of doing a little bit of the gameplay mm -hmm. and let you sort of find out what you enjoy. Like, do I enjoy just exploring? Do I enjoy shooting people? Mm -hmm. Do I enjoy just going and rescuing people and giving them lifts? Do I enjoy taking cargo to places? We do it all. Yeah. Shooting and rescuing. Yeah. We have a bunch of Aurora Shoot variants and then rescue them. for just that purpose. Well, we've got an exploration variant. variant. We've, got a, we've got an interdiction variant. Yeah, there's, there's cargo, cargo variant. Cargo variant as well. So there's, there's more than enough Aurora variants to sort of give you a little taste of each of those different careers. All right, so if I'm new to Star Citizen, if, I, if, if I've joined in with our free fly that's going on right now and for the rest of the week, the Aurora is a good place to start. Now, the other end of the spectrum is a ship that I know the two of you are very familiar with, the Constellation series. And the Constellation, you go from a, from a single-player starter ship to a multi-crew experience. So let's, t let's talk about the Constellation. We'll talk about the Constellation first, and then we'll talk about multi-crew. So tell me about the Constellation. But it, it, you've, wor you've worked on three of the four variants that exist. Yep. So we started uh, with the Andromeda. Uh, that was a tag team effort between Chris and I. Josh did the exterior, I, I did the interior part. That way we could work at the same time. The interior same looks so good. Yeah. Um, well, the exterior is, looks fabulous to me. The are. <laughs> <laughs> when we remade the Connie, yes. I, we immediately built it to be modular. Yeah. So it, it's kind of like Lego pieces. You have the mm -hmm. nose, the neck, the body, and the tail, and they can be swapped out for different modules. So we can then build off uh, the variances from that one. The most recent RSI addition to the game is the is the Constellation Phoenix, yeah. which is more than just a, a paint job and change to the Andromeda. Talk oh, to us about man. the Phoenix. Back when we like analyzed it, uh, we said, um, okay, we would have to do work on the exterior body section, and then massive work on the interior body section, which is a total art redo because it's the luxury interior. Right, which is almost like, all right, take a tank and then make the inside nice luxury. and flush, yeah. you know? And that was that was challenging and it took a couple attempts to get it get it in the right direction, had yeah. a lot of good art feedback. And it was also, you know, a 
sort of a test bed ship for multiplayer and multi-crew yeah. ship. Um, Still is to this day. Yeah. But yeah. A multi-crew opens up roles mm. beyond just the people who are good pilots and people that are good FPS players. Yeah. I mean, I'd be the best pilot in a single seat ship, a dogfighter, but I, I, I could work to become the best engineer. Yeah. I could work to become the best scanner operator. You have those moments, those like Star Trek moments. You take a round through and it hits the component, it goes down and you get a guy back there to get on there and fix it and they fix right. it in a, yeah. a timely manner and it, it saves the team. Being able to have an engineer sat there twiddling all the numbers with a shield guy, moving all the shield faces around and hardening them and overpowering them. That's the sort of interconnected gameplay that's really going to help. Components. Those yeah. Components, those, like, yeah. You have to work as a team on that ship to be as effective as everyone else. The most effective team on a Constellation is going to win. Yeah. If you get it in sync, you're going to crush stuff. Yeah. You're going to crush like, stuff. Pretend I'm somebody who has friends. And I've, I've come to Star Citizen and whatever, let's struggle here. Um, what, what are we going to do on a console? What's, what's our gameplay experience going to be like on a console? So, on the Connie and other multi crew ships, you, you guess like a, a much wider range of missions you can do with a, a single seater ship. It's sort of limited in, you can only do relatively small combat missions, or you can maybe pick up a box and take it somewhere. With the Connie, you've got that huge cargo bay you can fill with cargo. So, you, you've got tradings mm -hmm. open to you now. Uh, you've got turrets and much bigger guns on there. So between the three of you, uh, you can do much more interesting combat missions. You can hold a ground vehicle that unlocks a huge amount mm -hmm. of not just missions, but just general messing around. They are so rover yeah. also made by our side. Yeah, that fits in there. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just more. It has the Merlin on the back. So it's got this, this stub ship that can help defend it. So yeah, it has a lot of features. A lot of little features. This is the multi-crew gameplay, uh, yeah. test bed. I think the, the Connie sort of exemplifies multi-crew in Star Citizen because it's got that, you've got three people sat there, they're all within eyesight of each other, like, it's like we're just sat around this table is essentially how the, the Connie is. You're all there, you're in eyesight, you can use all stuff like FOIP and VoIP to communicate. How do they impact multi-crew gameplay? I mean, obviously, I got to think the ability to talk oh, with yeah, people yeah, instead yeah. of having to type everything out is a big feature. Being able to talk is a huge thing. And it's, it's not just the, because you could, you could use other systems to talk to each other with voice chat. Mm -hmm. But having it grounded in the game, in the game world, makes, makes that huge difference. Beyond just being able to see people's faces move, which can cause hilarious results, yeah. but having that spatial uh, sound and just the layers where the position you've got to help. Sounds yeah. I know that Chris is next to me when I hear his voice. Yeah, if I'm sat in that middle seat and I hear someone get out their seats and whilst they're talking to me, you hear them go yeah. towards the back of the ship. Yeah, yeah. every going to be everything on that ship. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's more it's, it's more than just immersion though. When you're in the back of the ship, you know your voice is modulated, and I hear it over there. I know Chris is far yeah. away, but when I hear him and I don't hear that modulation, I, and I hear him from right, I know instinctively without having to turn around that he's made his way back from the back of the ship and he's there right next to me. Yeah, yeah. and stuff. You know, the, the, we'll speed things up. I mean, absolutely. As far as like in the combat situation when you have to be quick and sort of on your feet. So they'll come yeah. in handy. Yeah. Our VoIP, like hands down, is like one, one of my favorite, favorite features. Uh, our so cool. Kicks kind of serious, but. Yeah. All right, Highlander Sorry, time. Just came out. Highlander time. You can only keep one RSI ship. What one RSI ship do you keep? I'll, I'll just keep the Orion. The Orion? Big mining platform. Big mining. Huge mining platform with just big mining lasers. Mining lasers, big munchy mouth. Nothing's right. going to stop that thing. When it comes time for the rain, it's going to have the lasers. Yeah. yeah. yeah you know. The little prospectors there with his little laser. I'm going Orion Andromeda. Comes. Andromeda. Going, Andromeda. going Andromeda. It's, uh, yeah. If I had to pick one, and all, all the rest have vanished. I'd, I'd pick the Andromeda just for uh, the balance. Utility. The balance. Yeah, 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 it's just, it's the biggest. Multi-roll. It's the biggest, like, you know, multi-tool ship in the catalog. But i got to make some friends first. <laughs> Well, I'm going to make more friends, too, because I would pick the Phoenix. I like the luxury part, and you, know, you still get the Constellation and everything that's there, and then you get the awesome interior part and the nice comfy bed, too. That's true. And the, and the faster Archimedes? Yeah. Yes. The fish the, tanks. You, you I like sports a, cars, so. You get, you get a better ride. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, Robert Space Industries, a, a, a unique manufacturer, the most prominent manufacturer between all Iconic. of Iconic. Uh, definitely iconic. Uh, um, 
struts. Struts. I just said here like struts. Struts. Come on. Struts. 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 Thanks, guys. Now get out there and take some of these ships out for a test flight. Each manufacturer's offering will only be available for 24 hours. Yes, yeah, so you'll have the whole week, though, to try out the brand new Anvil Arrow. And remember to head to the IAE West, going on at <laughs> Northville now, uh, to check out the ships in-game. IAE West, yes. IAE West. And after flying all those RSI ships, head back to the website to take a crack at the anniversary special quiz where you can prove your status as a true ship master. Your score could even get you into a drawing for the opportunity to win an Anvil Arrow. Yes, good luck on that. So that's it for today. Uh, join us tomorrow when the featured manufacturer will be another one close to my heart, Origin Jump Works. Woohoo, fancy.